I realize I was expressing right off the bat this year that Tesla could hit 300 and we were just about got there and sooner than I suspected, and that was before the finished digital truck debut, or obviously the good country, an occasion that I generally tend to assume is a higher priority than most, and as I would see it the greatest variable is this 66 kilowatt hour battery potential that Tesla will hit 300 miles of reach with the standard rendition, an estimation that is profoundly underestimated in light of the fact that it's overshadowed by the colossal digital track and any locating of that pinnacles over some drilling battery detail, yet that is the way the market is it's unreasonable in some measure in the present moment, similar to the lovers and financial backers, undeniably more worried about the cyber track. As well yet in the event that Tesla have 10 bigger batteries and discounted costs by 10 for the Model 3 and at last the Model Y. And that will accomplish more in the financials than even in digital truck and volume creation. Truly, we ought to most likely do those financials at some point at any rate. I believe we will get one more flood of computer-based intelligence after these NVIDIA numbers and assumptions that have totally crushed the market with NVIDIA up more than 8% pre-market at one phase and tried up just about 2%. I would figure this rally isn't yet finished, albeit the Jackson opening gathering will presumably stop the party only for the present yet on the off chance that we get a suspicion of rates on the manner in which down, and there's another man-made intelligence blast coming then. Everything is highlighting Tesla needed to make their own man-made intelligence chips in light of the fact that NVIDIA can't convey enough. And as we probably are aware as per Elon Tesla is the main man-made intelligence organization further ahead than any other individual. And there are a lot of motivations to accept Elon on this all certain Microsoft and others have visit Get and Google has banished of which I truly have more confidence in than most. I'm certain Google will resolve it. And it's more modern than visit GP2. And despite the fact that there are numerous new businesses out there profiting from this new artificial intelligence innovation myself, for one with my startup Verbalate.a, when we can make an interpretation of any video into famous unknown dialects with the best lip matching up innovation on the planet, yet these are still moderately little corresponding to an organization like Microsoft or Google. It's very early in the game. So I'm not sure if the juggernauts have the best plan of attack just now. However, how might they actually apply their artificial intelligence in some sort of promotion, like Google search? My true argument is, though, that Tesla, in terms of artificial intelligence, Tesla has its game plan completely set out. What is it? Well, it's amazing. It's the replacement of labor performed by humans. FSD alone means we don't have to focus on our driving in. Implies we can make more worth with our time. When we're in the vehicle going to our objections, maybe around 10 extra hours, seven days how we use this time depends on us, whether we need to get up to speed with rest, observe some YouTube, or do some coding on our PCs, there is no contention that this is of exceptionally high worth and surely definitely worth more than 15,000 bucks the admin flow cost of FSD. It is getting us additional time in life that we can spend on not driving or on the limit assuming you're rich and implies you never again need to pay for your driver which would cost a fortune, yet this isn't the expected market, and this assistance is maybe going to turn out to be valued at a couple hundred bucks per month membership. Yet the opposite side of this is successfully the substitution of work, a driver-free taxi at whatever point you have an item that replaces work then. At that point, it's dependably worth a fortune Tesla can make their own adaptation of Uber aside from they get to keep all the income and don't need to impart it to the Uber driver, this is clearly huge, and obviously a Tesla is reasonable more pleasant than a commonplace Uber vehicle. Also besides obviously, the elastic taxi can work a greater number of hours than a Uber driver on the off chance that each elastic taxi could get 50000 bucks per year, which I believe is logical negative going by Uber costs, and the way that the waterway taxi can drive more hours. And sure, those hours are not steady, there isn't request 24-7 yet, that would mean maybe 50 billion bucks of income a year for each million robo-taxes. And the expenses are exceptionally low for that vehicle, when contrasted with an Uber or customary taxi. The expense will be even lower than a regular Model 3 assuming we're to anticipate that this elastic taxi should be a conservative with around 50 kilowatt-hour size battery on the off chance that Tesla arrived at 5 million Weber taxes. 
That is a fourth of a trillion bucks a year on an assistance item, in spite of the fact that Elon's looking at making 5 million Gen 3 vehicles per year, so there'd be a lot of supply for such an organization. The inquiry will request be well, that is a simple fix. Just I can find a market clearing value, there's adequate edge there. To undermine Uber fundamentally, I'm certain most travelers would prefer to no driver and a theater setup to watch Netflix. And so on too, consequently, the item would be better. And like I said, a Tesla is more pleasant than an average Uber or a taxi. Will that be sufficient to counterbalance how restless numerous travelers might feel about the vehicle driving itself? We'll need to find out. Obviously, inside time, travelers will turn out to be more sure about the man-made intelligence's capacities. And they will work on en route. And there is maybe the opportunity that elastic cabs will become lower cost than claiming your own vehicle now, in spite of the fact that artificial intelligence will positively take occupations very much like Tessa's elastic taxicabs, very much like the web has. And we have so many online business stores, well, there's still a lot of retail or administrations. All in all these retail structures are as yet standing and not empty. There is still worth in them individuals actually have occupations, yet presently, Everybody knows how to utilize the web. Everybody is involving the web in their positions and profession. We have all needed to step up as I would like to think. I think a similar will be valid for man-made intelligence on the off chance that it is basically as large as we naturally suspect it will become soon. Then I figure individuals will need to will grasps with it very much like we as a whole expertise to utilize a PC. Could you at any point envision a long time back attempting to show your grandparents how to utilize Microsoft Word? or succeed, yet presently grandparents these days are completely equipped involving the web and PCs for all that, and their cell phones as well despite the fact that there was a cycle of an expectation to learn and adapt for certain they essentially had no way out this was the new world, and the advantages far offset the learning, I likewise think similar turns out as expected for robots, yes Elon discusses what is even an economy with robot work doing everything, except I can't help contradicting him on this. Yes, it's oak to contradict Elon, he is off base about bounty yet certain, he's likewise positively been correct about bounty too, particularly where it counts for one robots don't kill all shortage, so thusly there is as yet an economy as financial matters is in a real sense about the distribution of shortage, except if robots can really make more ocean front land in Malibu will continuously have a few type of shortage, and people will normally need to consider alternate ways that they can be valuable and make reason in life. They will utilize man-made intelligence and robots to use greater resourcefulness. Although we think of these artificial intelligence robots as incredibly intelligent conscious creatures, the natural cerebrum will always have qualities that a manufactured mind can never have. They will be able to perform all the tasks that a human could, but faster, more grounded needs at all times. Less rest or accusing, and way more. More intelligent than all the information in the universe. But even if that's the case, I believe it will take a while for them to arrive, and people will have to figure out how to adapt. Alternatively, perhaps Neuralink will help to keep us ahead in some way. Whatever Elon Musk tries to create, what's coming isn't predetermined. People have said the same thing about PCs and the internet, and while machines do replace jobs, they also create new ones. The layman needs to take charge and acquire more knowledge and skills for a variety of roles, such as moving from using a digging tool to a digger, the powerful will teach some artificial intelligence. FSD dig what's necessary to dig well. You get the idea I disagree that human labor should be unnecessary because it's not in our nature to want explanations and validation. We also wouldn't want to be forced into retirement because that would likely lead to mass despair. Nevertheless, it's possible that we are witnessing the start of a new wave of computer-based intelligence. And with Tesla launching new models and starting up new production lines, it's not impossible to think that this year will mark an all-time high. Thank you for your attention. If you don't mind, click approve and join in.